Bonjour tout le monde, welcome back to Parisian Street Style with me, Farah. It's so good to be with you today. Today's video is a really, really fun topic and I think you're going to enjoy it if you like French girl style. It is how to dress like a French woman. Without further ado, let's get right into this video and I hope you enjoy So here's the deal. I am a personal stylist and a personal branding and image coach for female entrepreneurs. Uh, I've lived in Paris for four and a half years and after observing French women, having close friends who are French women, working with French women and just basically living here and absorbing this environment, uh, I have to admit that I have been bitten by the French woman style bug. It's definitely, definitely really, really compelling. It has informed some of my own um, style evolution and my st uh, personal style journey. I've, I really love it. We're going to go through six reasons why French woman style is just the bee's knees, okay? Number one to remember about French women's style is that I have my notes here, so if I'm looking over here, they value their personal style expression over what's trendy. This one is really, really important to understand uh, when you're looking at a French woman and understanding their style. I think it also makes them really, really unique from other cities and it's also ironic because Paris is one of the capitals of fashion. Fashion week happens here, um, trends are born here, all like the best designers in the world are here, um, etc. Arguably, of course, but the fact that personal style is so valued here is kind of a juxtaposition. It's kind of something you wouldn't expect when you move here and I was really really surprised pleasantly that you know a French woman is is so all about her self-expression and you will see why on the other on the other points but keep this one in mind so a French woman style number two to remember is all about timeless pieces it's all about classic Pieces. They they do have their own personal style, like I said. They incorporate a lot of things which uh, they're drawn to as an individual with really, really classic pieces, like a trench coat, um, like a marionette, like that. But the marionette or the trench coat has its, has its own twist or maybe has its own uh, cut, you know, according to their body. That's what I mean by classic style, but it's basically pieces that you can take throughout your whole life. So when a French woman invests in something, it's all about looking at whether she's going to wear this in her 30s through her 60s and maybe even beyond because my third point, they focus on quality over quantity very much so and i have a little confession to make before coming to live in paris i was a shopaholic i loved it i didn't call it consumerism but it was actually what i was doing is like i was just going to sales and shopping all the trends all the time and keep kept updating my wardrobe you know it was like it was really quite toxic. When I came to Paris, I learned about uh, quality over quantity. I learned about, you know, sustainable, um, a more sustainable way of, of living, of, of consuming fashion, of, of loving, loving my style and loving what I have in my wardrobe and really enjoying the pieces and not running after trends and not like trying to chase, you know, the, the next thing. Yes, there's going to be times where, you know, I will buy things, I will bring things into my wardrobe, but I find that I'm, I gravitate more towards pieces which I really see that it's going to add something to my wardrobe or it's very, you know, classic 
and it's going to stay in my wardrobe and stand the test of time. So like really, really, really high quality pieces. Uh, Parisian women, French women are masters at repurposing their clothes and it's um, something I really, really love about them. They can wear it in different seasons and they layer so, so masterfully. Um, when you go into a French woman's wardrobe, you can see that she has like throughout the season she will wear she will layer a shirt under a dress she will wear her dress with with tights and with a jumper and there's just so so many different ways that I've learned to repurpose my clothes clothing and enjoy it um, throughout different seasons in fact and also adding accessories are a big part of it. So having great shoes, having uh, scarves, sunglasses, hats, it's a huge, huge part of um, having a comprehensive French woman wardrobe. So number four, comfort is king, practicality is needed. So when I take my clients shopping, in um, French boutiques, which is like one of my favorite things to do in Paris, um, shopping tours with my personal stylist clients. Um, I love, love, love going in and looking at the collections because they are so practical. They are so, like I could buy everything all the time, <laughs> which kind of goes against the sustainability thing. But it's true that, um, all the pieces are just so useful, so practical, so and and so stylish. So it's it's really quite difficult if you are someone who loves clothes to go shopping here because you find such good, uh, good quality, practical, comfortable, amazing, stylish, trendy pieces. So if you want to come shopping in Paris, by the way. Um, let me know, contact me, I have info down below, so let's do it. <laughs> but on a side, the practicality part also comes from living in a city, a city with changing seasons. Sometimes we have rain, sometimes there it's more um, sunny, sometimes there's wind, you know, there's also the pollution, there's also different um, parts of city life like sometimes you have to be at work and sometimes you're out um, socializing so there's a lot of this to take into consideration which creates the need for practicality in dressing number five thing to observe is our colors so uh, french women french women generally are drawn towards um, darker colors but it doesn't mean that they don't wear color because when I was moving to Paris, oh, actually, another fun story time for you. When I was coming to Paris for the first time, I thought that Parisians only wore black because of, you know, the quote by Coco Chanel. Um, I forgot what it is now, but something about black being the, the new white or the absence of white is black or the absence of black, or whatever. So, you know, you know that quote iconic quote and her being so iconic that I thought there's only going to be people wearing black here so I have to wear all black so I rummaged my closet got out all my dark clothing I had a French boyfriend at the time and I asked him like so I've gotten all my black clothing out and I was so ready to go I came here and lo and behold to my surprise I saw color like we came in summer and I saw color and I was like, I saw it once, I saw it twice, I saw it again and again and again and I was like, this is not coincidence, like people are actually enjoying color, but the way they wear color is quite specific. So yes, a lot of the clothes are dark, they're neutral, um, but French women do wear color and one of their favorite colors is red but that's not a cliche they love to wear a good red lip 
goes a long way here. Um, so that is not false, but they also do wear a lot of color, but usually they'll wear color in a specific way, as in just one one item of clothing on in their outfit, like a, a, a sweatshirt or a shirt or um, their skirt or a bag, shoes. Um, it's usually something like a statement item that uh, pops out. You will rarely find a French woman with a head to toe colored outfit. I've done it. Um, I've done it in the streets of Paris, but I got a lot of strange looks, I have to say, because yeah, it's just, you know, it's, it's not as, um, as practiced here not as practice here but if you're a neutral girl and you don't mind um, just a little bit of color you know this place is perfect for you with that being said they also love personal style so please keep that in mind they are really really open-minded about style and they they do enjoy personal a good sense of personal style so I've also gotten a lot of compliments when I kind of um, just put myself out there a little more. With that being said about showy putting ourselves out there. Designer wear, number six, and I'm gonna end with this point, is that designer wear isn't as showy here. What I mean by that is not, it's not ostentatious. Like if you are to wear a Chanel bag or a Gucci belt or something from you know, off-white or Dior shoes. It's not so known. They they mix their pieces with kind of normal stuff like from Zara, Mango, H&M, a lot of thrifted second-hand pieces. Um, so there's, there's a big mix and usually one of the items is designer. I love what the beautiful, iconic French model Inès de la Fressange says about French women. She says they hardly wear head-to-toe designer and they'll mix it branded garments or accessories subtly by mixing it with items of all price points. And yeah, that's exactly how they do it. And with just one brand name. Super soft. So that's it for now, my friends. We're done with this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more French women style, for more trends, uh, for more um, personal styling, personal branding tips. Um, if you love Paris or you're an entrepreneur or a mother, I am a mother here in Paris too. I'm an entrepreneur and I share the behind the scenes of my life and my journey here. So I'd love you to join our little family and we'll definitely be making more videos like this. I have ideas for this year. Um, it's really been really, really busy with my business, but I definitely want to start making videos here again. I've really missed YouTube, so I'll be doing more of these. So anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of these French girl tips and I will hopefully see you in the next video. A la prochaine fois. Bisous. P.S. P.S. I'm definitely going to leave some gorgeous French ladies down below check out um, the description box also check out my instagram for more inspiration of paris of fashion here and yeah i'd love to have you there Mwah. ciao